out there. This is the ABC 13 Eyewitness News at Noon on the CW 39. And we begin with breaking news that we have been following all afternoon. An innocent driver killed in a crash after a high speed chase. We are going to go ahead and also talk about this late breaking news. The main mass shooter found dead. That confirmed by several law enforcement sources. Right now at 9, police say they have found the body of the accused mass shooter in Maine. This coming as we learn more about the victims. The latest details tonight. Plus an innocent woman killed when a chase ends in a crash near the Grand Parkway. The latest on that investigation also coming up. And a brutal attack in a high school restroom. The victim hearing impaired and did not hear it coming. His mother is speaking only to 13 about her safety concerns in Splendora ISD. Good evening and welcome to the news at nine. I'm Elisa Rivas. Thank you for joining us. Let's begin though with our weather. We are in for some very big changes over the next couple of days. Also, we are heading into the weekend. So tonight, Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog is in for Davis to tell us about a 50 degree temperature drop <laughs> not too far away. It's going to feel 50 degrees colder from Sunday afternoon to Monday morning. That will be a shock to the body. Now, the much talked about front has already made headway into the state of Texas. It is in the process of stalling out, though, between Dallas and Waco. So it's going to be a couple more days before it reaches us. About 48 hours from now, we will be in the cooler air here in Houston. Now you follow that cold air backwards up towards Canada and it gets significantly colder. That high pressure cell that's near Billings, Montana, as it moves southward down the plains, that'll finally force the front on through. But again, it stalls out about 24 hours to our north before it starts moving again. So we are on the warm side of that front through the weekend. High temperatures on Saturday in the upper 80s, 20% chance of a shower. Then on Sunday, we're still on the warm, sticky side of this thing for most of the day, but it does now look like the front enters southeast Texas during the afternoon, reaches Houston by sunset. And then look at this on Monday. It's rainy, it's windy, it's in the 50s, and it might actually not warm up out of the 40s. I'll have more on that and your trick or treat forecast coming up later. 48 hours to find that winter coat, Travis. Thank you. Now to the breaking news in Maine. Police say they have found the body of accused mass shooter, 40 year old Robert Card, shot and killed himself as hundreds of other officers were searching for him. The body was found at a recycling center in the town of Lisbon, where Card worked. That location is about eight miles from the bowling alley and the bar and grill, where police say he shot and killed. 18 people on Wednesday night. Earlier today, police released the names and photos of those victims. They range in age from 14 to 76 years old. Two of them were women. The motive for killing them is not known. And imagine getting the call that your child was brutally attacked by another student at school. Only on 13, a 15-year-old student at Splendora High School still recovering today after he was hit repeatedly in the school restroom. His mother believes the school district is not doing enough to keep students safe. And our Pujolodia is taking her concerns to the top.